Chef Della has 20 years experience in her field, including her tenure at Charlie Trotter's in Chicago and the French Pastry School. And now at Spago, she's creating some of the most tantalizing and unique desserts. So Chef, everyone knows that those conversation hearts are a Valentine's Day staple, but I understand you have something sweeter to kind of kick this up a notch. That's right. We're going to make our own conversation hearts from flourless chocolate cake. Oh. We're going to fill it with a little raspberry jam and then cover it with a creamy dark chocolate ganache. And then we're going to put our own personal message on top. So I have my pan prepared. I have a little bit of melted butter brushed on the pan. And now we're going to start melting our chocolate. We melt it over a little water bath very gently. And then we're going to add butter and we're going to melt that right in on very, very low heat because you don't want to burn your chocolate. Okay, so we're going to let this melt, and in the meantime, we're going to make our meringue. First, we're going to add our uh, egg whites into the bowl, and then we're going to add a little bit of cream of tartar, just a pinch. Cream of tartar is a type of acid, and it's going to help bind the egg whites together. So we're going to beat at a medium speed? Yes. Okay. Once we have the egg whites at this point, where they're a little bit frothy, mm -hmm. then we want to start adding our sugar. I'm adding my sugar gradually to the egg whites. We're just going to let it mix just a little bit so it gets a little bit tighter and fluffier. While that's going, why don't we go ahead and start adding our other ingredients to the chocolate. Okay. So the next thing we're going to add is egg yolks. We're using the egg yolks inside the batter and the egg whites to fold into the batter. Got it. Now just also remember, Brandy, that we have the heat off because we don't want to cook the egg yolks. We don't want to make scrambled eggs in that's our chocolate. Right. <laughs> now I'm going to add some creme fraiche. And remind me of creme fraiche. It's not sour cream, it's not. It's like a, a sour cream, it's a French uh, kind of sour cultured okay. cream. So now, once it reaches soft peaks, we're gonna incorporate the egg whites into the batter. Just like that, okay. Just like that. Now we wanna put just a little bit in in the beginning, just to loosen up our chocolate batter, okay? Okay, so now that we've incorporated the first part, now we're gonna fold in the rest. And Chef, you really wanna fold it in gently because we just worked so hard to get the meringue to a soft peak. Oh, we're gonna fold it in very gently. All right. So you're just starting in the middle you and start in the bring middle? it in? That's right, and bring it in. This is so fluffy. So even though we're pouring this into a sheet pan, we're gonna make them into little hard cakes. Yes, we're gonna make individual ones uh, because sometimes it's hard to find the right size heart-shaped pan if you want a little cake. So we're going to use our own cutters and we're going to cut them out after they bake. Okay. How That's long are we done. baking this for? So we're going to pop our cake into a 375 degree oven for approximately 12 minutes. So Chef, while our cakes are cooling in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. you're going to show us how to make a really simple ganache. Yes, this is a really simple ganache that we can use as the filling and as the glaze. Mm. Okay, so Brandy, we have our cream in the pot, and now we're just it's just come to just a simmer, and now we're going to pour it into the bowl. Now what I like to do is I just like to let this sit first for a few moments mm -hmm. to kind of melt, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some corn syrup. Okay. What does the corn syrup help do? First of all, it sweetens it just mm -hmm. a little bit and it also adds a nice glossy finish to your ganache. You're going to start creating a little emulsion in the middle of the ganache okay. to let the chocolate and the cream come together. See how it's getting there darker? There we go, yeah, it's dark right in the middle. Once all the chocolate is melted, then what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate our butter. I have a little trick. We're going to take a little bit of our ganache and we're going to add it to our butter to make sure that it's mixed in really, really well. And then we're going to re-add this I wish I knew this trick. into the ganache. Because what happens if you put all the butter into the ganache, you end up with tiny little lumps and it takes forever to get rid of them. That's right, especially if your butter is at room temperature. It's as simple as that, I it's guess. It's as simple as that. All right, sure. let's check on our cakes and see okay, if they're ready. Okay, sounds perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this set this aside and let it harden just a little bit so it can firm up for our filling. Chef, okay. this cake looks and smells so good. Well, great. Now we're ready to cut our, our cakes. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of go around the edges to unstick the cake on the side of the pan. And then we're going to actually flip it out mm -hmm. onto a clean sheet pan. And then don't forget to take the paper off. There we go. And now we're ready to cut out our shapes. All right, so go ahead and just 
Press that in. And obviously we want to go as far to the edge as possible so yes. we can maximize the cake that we just baked. Yay! And then for your next cut, maybe you want to just rinse it off in a little bit of water. Oh, good and idea. And then tap it. So easy. And I love this because you can do it with any shape you want, not just for Valentine's. That's right. All right, these look so cute. Great, so our next step is we're gonna put these into the cooler or the freezer to let them set up a little bit and get cold so that the ganache will stick to the cake a little better. Great. All right, Chef, this is the best part. Now we get to glaze and decorate, but I saw you have a little raspberry jam over here. Yes, I've had a little surprise for the middle <laughs> of the cake. So yes. what I thought we would do, we would make a little border of chocolate ganache, and then you can fill it with a little bit of homemade raspberry jam. And if you're a true chocolate lover, you just fill the whole thing with chocolate. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's what I would want to do. And put the top on and sandwich it just like so, and press it down just a little bit. We need to put this in the refrigerator for a few minutes just to set up the ganache, and then we're ready to glaze. Yes. All right, chef, so our cakes are cool now. Can we glaze them? Yeah, we're ready to glaze. So we want to make sure that you just take a nice, healthy ladle and put it on top of the cake, trying to get around the sides. Oh, my goodness. So basically, it covers itself because yes. you just put enough on there. Oh, and you can't even tell it was a sandwich cake. And then when you have glazed them, we'll give the pan a little tap, and then we should be good to go. And so while you're doing that, I thought maybe I'd roll out a little bit of uh, fondant. So this is just uh, white fondant, and all you need to do is add a little touch of uh, food grade coloring to it. So the fondant's rolled out, and so uh, what I'm gonna do now is just press out a few hearts. And obviously, you know, if you want, you don't have to fuss with the fondant. Literally after you glaze them, you can maybe add sprinkles or sure. pipe on some frosting and write your messages then. So these are just some stamps I picked up at a, a store. And also I have some gourmet pens. They're food pens. So that's edible. And this is edible. <laughs> don't, right, don't get the permanent marker. Just take the back of a, the stamp oh. and simply just kind of rub the food color on yes. top and then you're ready to print. Oh my gosh, it says be mine. That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, that is so precious. That's really cute. So now we're ready to decorate. So you can simply just put one of these on top if you'd like. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. I love it. And Brandy, I also have some melted white chocolate, so you don't have to make fondant if you don't want to. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, and I have something for you. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> I heart pop sugar. Chef, these look outstanding. I cannot wait to make some for my loved ones, especially for Valentine's Day.